Make sure you're supporting the podcast on Spotify and Apple. Also, hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all the episodes. Yo, guys, welcome back to Fancy a Chat. And this is episode two. And I have the fashion icon, the winner of Love Island 2021. Um, her name is Millie Cool. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Millie, yes. I'm here. Okay, so this is Millie's first ever podcast, yeah? So it is. I'm taking Millie's podcast, Virginia. All you podcasts out there. <laughs> 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 I've got Millie. Yeah. Okay, cool. Millie, how are you doing? You good? I'm good. How are you? Are you nervous? I feel nervous. This is my first podcast. And I don't know. I don't know what you're going to... Oh, I was going to say, I don't know what you're going to ask me, but I know exactly what you're going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Millie's nervous and I love it because... No, I need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> Why? I'm Why? Just stay, like <laughs> just, stay, just, stay, just stay nervous. You know when like it all just starts and it hits you all at once and I feel a bit overwhelmed now, but I'm just going to give it Butterflies in that. Yeah. Okay. What was worse, going into the villa or <laughs> my podcast? Yeah. <laughs> no, definitely going into the villa. Oh my god, you know how nervous I was. You, were, and you yeah. didn't even really know. You didn't know me at that point, and but everyone could it, tell. Yeah. It was that like, obvious, wasn't it? Yeah. I just didn't want to talk. I mean, luckily I was with Lucinda, so she just took complete control of the yeah. situation, and she just talked to absolutely everyone. I mean, it was awkward when we had to sit. Where was we sitting? And we all had to speak in a big group with you boys. It was on, on the, the day beds. The day beds. Remember yeah. you first come in day beds and then we split off to two groups. Yeah, we did. Remember that? Yeah. yeah, I remember that. And I was yeah. like, this girl's kind of <laughs> cool, you know. I was like, this girl's kind of cool. Um, let me chat to Millie because she's so nervous. There was one time, there was one time, <laughs> this is a story. Lucinda was talking about Asia, that she was talking to Asia or something. And ever, all the, everyone was like, oh, like Asia, nice. And I looked at Millie and I was like, you're bare quiet. What's going on? She was like... I'm just letting her do the talking. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know what to say. Like, I didn't have anything. I've never been in Asia. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't get involved in that conversation. <laughs> and you know, I felt like Lucinda, even though she didn't come across as nervous, she was like, what's um the saying? It's like, like word vomiting. Like, she was yeah. just saying weird stuff. Like, she made For the up sake a of whole saying thing. It. Like, that she said, <laughs> like, she's always wanted to go to, like, Asia or in America. And then one of the boys was like, oh, so how long have you wanted to do that? And she was like, oh, actually, I, I don't think I ever wanted to do that. <laughs> I'd rather be quiet. I'd rather be quiet. Than... So I just sat back, listened to her, enjoyed it. Yeah. Tried to calm my nerves. I feel like when I was in, like, more of a one, not one-on-one, -on -one, but when we split off into the two yeah. groups, I felt a bit more comfortable then. It's, like, less people as well. Yeah, because it? it was so intense. Like, I just, I've, I've said it before, like, in other things, that you just cannot prepare yourself for, like, how you're going to feel. Like, you don't know what to expect. What if you came in by yourself? Oh, I actually think I would have walked. You I, would have, have I would not. Walked in, walked out. I, yeah, I'd have been like, yeah, not doing this. <laughs> See you later. What, so but and being put in with Lucinda that was like helped massively massively yeah because you got, you got the confidence though to come in by yourself surely like you walk in Lucinda said hey guys I remember as well you you, you could have done that hey guys and then like no I did but I don't think anyone heard me. <laughs> oh, no. I was like hi <laughs> oh my god I can't even remember what I said but she as soon as we walked out she goes hey boys yeah, she screamed like it. That. hey guys whatever and then I was like hi <laughs> It was so awkward. Um, no, but having her there, and I think I feel like as well because you said it in your in the first podcast with Chloe oh, that you like it, yeah. of course I watched oh. it. Um, you was like oh because nobody knew each other. You didn't have that person to go to to talk to, and yeah. like when you felt like a certain way or like you, I don't know. You always in a situation like that, you want someone to like. Give the low down to and yeah. like be like, yeah, like, uh, like sound feeling, whatever. And I uh, obviously yeah, that wasn't me, but I feel for you guys for not having that. So for me, me and Lucinda bonded straight away. And then I had her then. Yeah. Because I really, I really struggled for the first go week. go to her and you'd be like, oh, you know what? Like, I felt like this. I felt like that. Yeah. Instead of going to an absolute stranger, stranger and being like, I felt like this. And they're like, mm. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk about it. And I'm just like, I don't really want to talk to a stranger about yeah, how I'm exactly, feeling. But exactly. Lucinda, I mean, I didn't know Lucinda. Like we literally had met like 
well, we met at the, um, you know, like the campsite bit before. Oh, yeah, just before. Like in the like little sheddy bits. We had our own little like port cabin thing. And then... We... So how long was you like together for before you went in? So I didn't know that I was going in with someone like as I'm coming on the way to the port cabin. It's oh. like they're saying, you're going in today. Didn't know it at this point. And then I get to the um, port cabin, like literally walking up to it. And then there's the, there's, um, what's his name? Mike and Andy... Oh no, Mike and Henry. No, oh, Mike yeah. and Henry. Mike and Henry were there. And then the producers, the, yeah. The producers, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they were there with a girl and and she's like really loud and bubbly. And I'm like thinking she's like part of a, like the producers as well or <laughs> yeah. something. Oh, in and a big then, boy, she was in a bikini though, no? <laughs> she was in a bikini, she's like not actually <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think she was in a bikini was straight away. No. I, I can't remember. But anyway, so I'm like, oh my God. And she's like, and then Mike goes, so this is the girl you're going in with. This is Lucinda. Lucinda, this is Millie. And we were like, oh my God, hello. And then they said, right, you've got to split up. You've got to get ready. Like, oh, yeah. like touch your makeup. And then we'll be leaving in like 10 minutes, whatever. And then we were supposed to get separate cabs. You know, they always made us get separate yeah. cabs like whenever we le left places. But her cab broke down. So oh. she had to get into my cab with me and my chaperone. And my chaperone, remember, she was like, right, girls, you can't talk because like whatever you need to say, you need to save it for when you're yeah. in the villa and stuff like that. So we just kept being like, Lucy was me, right, so who do you fancy? <laughs> and I was like about to tell her and my chaperone was like, Millie, <laughs> no, don't tell her. And I was like, but that was looking at her and I was like, <laughs> what, so who, what who was it liam. liam yes she said brad and i said liam so and then, then we were like got yeah you guys just got you Luckily, came in you bomb you bombshelled the bomb <laughs> the villa you bombshelled the villa yeah you came in and did what you wanted to do yeah we both we both got what we wanted and i think that's why we got on because we both weren't going for the same boy oh yeah what if she oh, what if, if you she did? wanted liam <laughs> i would have fucking fight, fight for her wouldn't would have made it fight for him. <laughs> wouldn't have made it to love island villa it would have been off in that cab yeah we wouldn't oh, have been friends <laughs> that would be, oh you know what i would i would I wouldn't, but I would kind of like to see that. How things could have been different, like yeah, exactly. if if she did, like Liam. I mean, I think though, you know, when you get asked your top three, yeah, she she said Liam in her top three, what was but your I top also three? said so. I said Liam, you, and Brad. Oh. So I said Brad as well. Yeah. So it was like, oh, this could go either way here. Yeah, but my but that was my top three, and my, my top was Liam, and then her top was Brad. So it was like, okay, well, let's just go for that. <laughs> yeah, you so don't go on it in the morning chats. Like, yeah, Brad was Brad yeah. really into you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. really. Into you. Isn't it? You like Brad? Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I'm liking Liam. And then we obviously went on the dates. We had to choose our dates. And did you notice how I didn't choose Brad? She didn't choose Liam. Yeah. Oh, so you made like a pack? Like we didn't really make a pack, but I think. I think we just both felt like right don't other, let's yeah. not step yeah. on each other's toes here but to be fair that's the last person you would want to step on each other's yeah, toes the person you come yeah, in with exactly because they're your person that you go to innit? we had a good vibe we yeah. got on really well so i was i was so grateful to have her there i wouldn't have want looking yeah. back i wouldn't want to gone on my yeah. own by the way own. guys we are here in my place and it is the hottest day yeah. of the oh. year here it is the hottest day of the year. We can't turn the fan on because of the mics. So we're here sweating it out for you guys. I think my clothes are actually going to be wet by the end of this. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sweating in all places. It stinks. It stinks in here. Like, I can smell really. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like, it's, Toby, it's you're unbearable. you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> I have to let them know. I have to let them know. It's 4D. Yeah, it's true. 4D experience. You're getting the smell, sound, and whatever. If you see me touch my top lip, it's because I'm getting a Sula. A Sula. Yeah. Sweaty up. Lip alert, alert, pretty upper lip alert, and I've um, got to hold my head up. Some hair, some that was Lib's ick in there, the Sula, yeah, was it? Yeah, that's, I think so. Yeah, what, on a boy, yeah, obviously. That's a bit of a weird one because everyone gets sweaty, yeah, but well, I feel like, yeah, it is what it is, Can you know. You what let I mean? me know if you see a Sula, have mm. I got it right now? <laughs> no, you haven't got it now, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna stab it anyway because I don't believe you. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? Well, I remember the first thing you said to me was like, because I was like, where are you from? You're from, you was like, same as you, Essex. And I was like, what? Yeah. And then you was like, I knew you was coming in. <laughs> and I was like, what? You could, How do you know? You stalker. What's going on? Yeah, fuck. I forgot about yeah. that. I was like, what the hell? So, How do you know? 
I obviously my um I told my mum my couple of my friends and my auntie because mm. my aunt what was my auntie doing she was anyway I told, I told my auntie because there was some reason why I needed to tell her anyway so she knew about it and then one of her friends told her that you were going in. Yeah. Like, but this friend didn't know I was going in. She was just gossiping with her mates, going, oh my God, I know a boy yeah. who's going on Love Island. And it was you. Yeah. So my auntie sent me this screenshot of you going, <laughs> this boy's going on Love Island. And I was like, no way. I wonder whether, like, because you know, there's rumors yeah, and people yeah, don't actually really know. know. Sometimes they're not true. And then I remember being in um, my quarantine with my chaperone and we get to watch the show. Yeah. We watched the first show. You come up and I was like, it's not <laughs> me. I knew it was coming in here. That's so sloppy. You know why Someone, they knew. Someone's... It was my mum. My mum. Um, yeah. My mum got ahead of herself and she started telling everyone. the whole world oh. before it went in, which was very dangerous. She could have yeah. pulled the whole script for me. She but mum is watching right now. We made it. <laughs> you we, got that this far. It's good. We're we all made, good. We Don't it, worry. Honestly, you can tell anyone now. You can tell anyone now. It's all right. Oh, but as, us Essex people stick together. So we do. sweet. I was glad that you were in there and you were from Essex because I just knew that we would be on the same vibe. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's a thing. That I feel like it's a thing Everyone as well. from Essex is, has got the same vibe. It's comforting, isn't it? Yeah, when it you're like, is. oh, Essex. You're like, oh, okay, Essex. Like. We could talk about, like, <laughs> we know certain places. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, do you know what? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah Robert, you know all, all of that <laughs> faces. Like, yeah, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> have you watched the new Love Island? I have indeed. You have. Yes. Are you enjoying it? I am. I feel like it's, it's always a bit slow to start with. Yeah. Um, the they first, always grill it in the, at the start, innit? They, they do, like, yeah, like, but I think it's because people don't, like, we don't know. I hate attached. to say characters, because I, I don't like when people say that, because... Contestants? Yeah. Yeah. They are kind of characters, they, though, you know what I mean? They are kind of characters, yeah. but it makes them sound like it's, like, fake and yeah, it's acting. True. But it's not, obviously. Mm. But, yeah, the contestants, um, you don't know them in the first week. You don't really, like, You're feel like... If you think about everyone in their first week, was you yourself? Oh, no. Fully yourself? No. You weren't, I was you? a shell, just walking around and not knowing what <laughs> I was doing. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. I was walking around like this, like, oh, like, hi, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you you were quiet as well, I was you? quiet. I was scared. I didn't know yeah. what to do. Yeah, it was... It was just sort of after COVID nerve-wracking. as well. Like, I hadn't spoke to a girl for, like... <laughs> 10 months <laughs> didn't know what a girl was you got chucked right in at the deep end didn't you exactly no girlfriend didn't have a clue what I was doing <laughs> no I feel like um, now we are two weeks in and we get to know we're getting to know everyone a little bit more drama starting to happen yeah. things are unfolding so I feel like it's getting good now who's your favourite person at the moment, I absolutely love Ekinto. You love her. I think she's just. You're here for the drama. I'm here for the drama, and like, I some well, I put it on my story yesterday, and people were saying like nasty things about her, and I think people think she's being a bit like, you know, she's not being respectful to Davide by like going off and kissing yeah. Jay sneakily, but it's good TV. So you're here for the TV aspect. Yeah, but then that's really mean because it's people's feelings, isn't it? <laughs> it is people's feelings, yeah. It is people's but feelings. But do you think Davide actually likes Second Two? Because I don't. I think Davide got drawn the short straw in the fact that if it was if he would do it if he got the chance to do it. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I think he really I think he would um, like Gemma. I think if he think could he Gemma. if Gem all he was with Gemma, wouldn't he? Do you think he likes Gemma? I think because he's like, oh when that he age speak- gap, come on he can't. Come on, it's only not. I know, I know. It's it is years. a bit much. But she's you know, she's fair and she's above that age. She's so teen though. She's still it's nineteen. Like teen. Nineteen. 19. Would, you, would, you, <laughs> <laughs> would you like if Liam was nineteen? Which <laughs> oh, that's a bit weird. No, I wouldn't do that. But I can't really talk, can I? Because I'm when I was in the villa, I was twenty. I was twenty four. Liam was twenty one. That's, that's all right. I think anything over twenty. Yeah, like, then it's all fine. You're no which, longer a teen, so like. Yeah, I get what you're and... saying, but I also think, oh, you know what? Like, what is he? Twenty eight? No, what is 27. he? Twenty seven. He's twenty seven. And she was nineteen. But the thing is, though, in mm. that villa, like. You can't really look at age, can you? You can't. Because it's just like, you have to look at that person yeah. against the other people that are in there. Yeah, so. for who they are, their personality, whether they're you're like, you know, you're attracted to them or yeah. whatever. And I feel like he was really attracted to Gemma. Yeah. I think he liked her, but then obviously Gemma went with, who? Luca. Luca, yeah. Did Luca pick? Gem- Luca chose Luca Gemma, yeah. Cho- yeah, he got there first, picked yeah. Gemma. Yeah. 
And then he had to pick Ekin Sue, and I feel he says he says it sometimes in the episodes that he's not like he doesn't know. Yeah, he's like I'm unsure, isn't he? He didn't he didn't bring her a coffee one one morning. Yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah, you. I would be fuming if Liam didn't bring me a coffee, even though the they coffee. were horrible. Yeah, you know what? It's the gesture, isn't it? <laughs> it's the, just the gesture. You're, yeah, the the You're sitting there on the balcony. You're sitting there on the balcony. Yeah, all the boys are bringing up. Bringing it up, bringing it up. <laughs> yeah, we used to have races to get up to the girls, innit? <laughs> yeah, a couple of times, just like, Liam, why are you not winning? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It Liam would be a fuming. competition between you and Liam. <laughs> and it would always be you that would win and get up there. And Chloe would be like, yay, win I'd be like, Liam, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> why? Well, at least you got a coffee. Yeah. Some people are getting coffees. Yeah, true. They're not doing that this year, are they? They're not. Like the whole iced coffee thing that oh, we yeah, did. they're not. They're not. Maybe it's just... Us and maybe <laughs> was that it was too hot to be fair out there. You had to have a, you had to have iced coffee. You can't have a normal coffee. No, I People know that they are. Ice... They're having teas and coffee. Yeah, they're weird. And orange they're juices. Weird. I would love an iced coffee right now, to be honest. Oh, I'd pour it all over me because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> yeah, but not having a coffee is like bad because you're thirsty on the balcony. <laughs> Everyone's getting a coffee and you're just embarrassed. It's just it's embarrassment. The pride. You can't go down there and make yourself a coffee. No. You can't. <laughs> no, no you that's can't. I would be you so angry. The villa. Yeah. So Davide's not done that for Ekinsu. And the boys know it as well. We know you guys like coffee. So by not making a coffee, it's a statement. It's, it's a statement. It's, it is a statement. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, you don't like me then. <laughs> <laughs> so now this is, Ekansu was like, okay, you want a villain? I'm going to give you a villain. Yeah, she just, I think she tried really bad. I think she really likes Davide. I think she's trying. You think? Really I think likes. she likes him quite a lot, but I think he's not giving her what she wants. Mm-hmm. Therefore, she's like rebelling. I think she's trying to make him jealous as well, but then she's kissing him behind his back. He doesn't actually know that. Exactly. So it's not even so it's making not even him jealous jealousy, because then, he don't it? even know. I don't know then. It's like an affair. She's it, having an affair. She's what having an affair in a villa. Like that's, that's, Crazy. And she kept it secret for ages as well. Exactly. She was like, I'm not going to tell any of the girls. And I thought, oh my God, what? And then she told Gemma and Paige. Could that run, Could that run though? Like... Yeah, because then... Uh, uh... Oh, but when this secret comes out... Oh. Oh, wait, it comes out tonight. It comes out tonight. So tonight it comes out. So when you guys get this, you won't have our reaction from tonight. But no, yeah. It oh, comes yeah. out tonight. We know. <gasps> I, Don't... I see a clip. David was like... You're an actress. Get the fuck out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, bro. My man's Italian accent was going to the top. Yeah, here. he's fuming. Fuming. And you know what, though? The sad oh, thing yeah. about it is that he's losing to another Italian. Is he Italian? Jay's Italian, yeah. What the hell? Exactly. So I feel like you can't lose to another. Like, it's, it's kind of like rude. Oh, no. They're losing to your, your, your other counterpart. That's bad, that. Because, like, what have I got that the other Italian hasn't got? Yeah. That's what Davide's going to be thinking. I think Jay's got better chat. I think he, I think he might do. I don't think Davide's got the chat that, that Ekinsu wants. Jay rocked a lot of boats, though. Like, what? Oh, yeah, Tasha. what about Tasha? <gasps> he was like, I don't, feel, I don't feel like you're safe. And he's just rocking it. It's just like, oh. But she did give it to him in the in the day though. She was like, he was like, listen, I, like, tell me now. If you don't want me to get to know you, then we won't. But like, what's your vibe? And she was like, no, yeah, I want to get to know you. And then the next morning, what was that all about? And then because she, she, he told Andrew, I think. So she shit herself. So she shit herself. She's like, oh, okay, um, I can't keep Andrew and Jay at the same time because it's a bit... I think, I personally think Andrew and Tasha could actually go quite long in this. I think if, if yep. she gives him her all and like they really try, I think they could be really cute. I think he really likes her. Yeah, I agree with and you. And she's, she, I think she's still going to play the field. I think if, if someone comes in that's better than Andrew, she gets on better. She's second Andrew. She don't want to be the, the girl that gets with the guy day one and goes the whole way. Do I don't think, think I don't think she, she don't wants even... to be that girl. I feel mm. like she wants to like, Make sure that she's going. I feel like it's the right way to do Love Island, personally. Like, yeah. make sure that that person is it's, the person you're leaving with. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I think she's really looking for the person on the outside. Hit in the villa. Which, it could go bad and she may lose Andrew if she's not careful. Yeah, I feel a bit sorry for Andrew. Yeah, because they look cute under the covers. And... Yeah, they're cute. And they've obviously been to the hideaway together yeah. now. She bashed him off. I don't know if we can add this in the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> How did you know that? Because she was like, yeah, I gave a manicure. Oh, is that what she said? 
it's something like, something like that. that yeah, something oh, like okay. That. Well, that's pretty early days to be doing that. Yeah, that I was thinking, Phew. what the hell? I see. I so obviously me and Liam went on the, in the hideaway together yeah. after like day six of knowing each other. Was it day six? It was yeah. Day five. That was like day six. We because you come in day eight with Lucinda, yeah. so that must have been day. Quick maths, quick maths. Quick maths <laughs> Why quick do we not know? Fourteen. Eight six. Day fourteen. So second week going into third week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so we went in the hideaway and like, don't get me wrong, I really fancied Liam, but like, I thought, you know, if we did anything, then he was to mug me off, you know. Yep. That's, then um, it's like... So then I would be really annoyed at myself. So I yeah. thought, you know, let's just keep it PG. Yeah. So he was like, almost like, okay, so that's cool, why you're going to have to wait. You're going to wait. You have to wait for this wait. one. Make sure you're the right one. The right one before yeah. you do anything. Yeah. I agree. What do you think? Tasha maybe did it too. Maybe they it too but early. to be fair, Tasha's the one that's, the one that's looking for something else. So <laughs> so, so I don't she know. wants it all. She, she wants something else. So <laughs> maybe Andrew's the one yeah. in the situation that shouldn't have gave it too soon. He should have held oh, off. No. Andrew. Oh poor Andrew. But you know what? Though? I gave, I I I um the problem was I judged Andrew too soon. Yeah, I in did. my head. I kept on thinking he was like I'm going to say it. He gave me them Hugo vibes. And I was like, oh, is this Hugo in, in was it Recantation? Is it Recantation? Re- reincarnation. Re- reincarnation. Yes. I thought it was Hugo Reincarnation. So I was like, oh, like I'm scared here. Uh, re- reincarnated. <laughs> Hugo re- Reincarnated. So I was scared here. I was like, oh, he's going to, because he did the thing with Luca when he's like made some stuff up. Oh yeah, and I was like, oh, I don't like that. Oh my god, that was snaky yeah, and what? weird. Why would you do that? Like, why did you would not you do think that? he was going to get caught out? Like, <laughs> what the hell? That like, flat out lied. Yeah, like, why? Why yeah. would you lie? Proper dogged out, um, Luca. Yeah, and then, but I mean, that was weird, wasn't it? Luca and Tasha at the beginning, sort of like, was a bit flirty, and that's been fizzled out now. I think Luca just was like, all you know what? Arm. I'm on all you guys. I'm on all you guys yeah. at the start. Like, who's gonna who's gonna break? Like, yeah. And then now he's just like with Gemma and he's like... He's like he's secretly bit, in love with Gemma. He's like, he's like clinging, isn't he? Like, he's like leech. What about when she um she was like, oh, oh, she was so happy when he didn't bring her up a an orange juice or something. She doesn't drink yeah. tea or coffee. And she was like, I was so happy when you didn't bring up a orange juice because it's like... I go, what did she say? Like, that's like toxic vibes, that is. <laughs> like, mean? I'm happy that you did not bring me a drink like yeah. that morning. Like, yeah. she wants to play games. Ooh, do you think the game's like... That's, ga- yeah. that's gaming. But that's like, she's a teenager. Yeah. Like, Nick for that kind of thing. <laughs> drink like Nick for that kind of thing. Yeah, I feel like when I was 19... Oh, actually, I was in a serious relationship when I was 19. <laughs> yeah, you were playing games in a serious night. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't playing no games. But I feel like if I was 19, you know, you're the world's your oyster. She's really pretty. Like, she obviously can... She can feel like she can have get fun. what she wants. You know what? Have fun. You know what I mean? You only live once. Yeah. So no, like... but I feel like she's uh, she's wants to play those games with Luca because she don't want to... She's not. She doesn't seem like a settle downer for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. You think? Why would you say that at 19? But then she is not Toby. You can settle down whenever you want. You can, you can. You can, <laughs> to be fair. I'm only what? 23. <laughs> You're only settling down now, aren't you? I'm settling down. I've settled down. Oh, yeah. I'm in the countryside with my own <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how about your least favourite person? Not least favourite, but... Yeah, like... Yeah, you know what I mean? They're the person that you're like, oh... I'm not too sure. Davide. Is Davide? <laughs> yeah. I like Davide. Liam really likes Davide. Does he? Like, he finds Davide hilarious. Oh. He is hilarious. Like, <laughs> I'm seeing stuff that makes me like, I'm like, Davide, that's fucking hilarious. Man. Yeah, Liam's exactly like that. We'll watch it. He cracks up at him. And you're like, nah. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't I don't know what it is. It's, I, I, he's my least fave. He he's looks pre- fit. He's got a lovely accent. Yeah. But what I've seen of him and Ek and Sue, I feel a bit oh. bad for her. And I feel like he's Bad just... for her? Yeah. She's just had an affair. <laughs> <laughs> She's just had an affair. Because Davide's not, not, not cutting it. Like, Does that Davide... mean you should have an affair? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. No, she shouldn't be doing that. She yeah. definitely shouldn't. But I agree. Davide is like... You he... don't know You don't know what... He... I, I see it. You don't know what his intentions are because... Before Jay and Remy even came in, he didn't give her coffee. And why no, did you not didn't. give her coffee? Like, what was the real reason for but that? But then I do get it. When when a new boy or a ick. girl comes in, what? Do you think Ekin gave Davide the ick? 
Oh uh, yeah, I don't think Davide like is ever really oh. like second. So I think he thinks that she's like good looking and attractive, but I don't think their I was personalities. Just intrigued, just intrigued yeah. when she was onto him. And yeah. He's like, oh, okay, I'll follow. It. I'll see and what then because Gemma was getting a bit close with Luca, and she was like second yeah, best to Gemma. That, yeah. So he's done that. Oh. I'm just not vibing with Davide. Oh yeah. I, he I might see. grow on me. Yeah. But if he stays long enough, at the moment it looks like he might be going out. <laughs> Oh, no. It's just sad, but you know what? It is what it is. Just a game. I think that Ekin still needs to just, you know, say to have a day. I don't want to be with you. Yeah. Like, I yeah. want to be with Jay. It's, Me and Jay have got a better connection. She should have done that from the start. Yeah. But you it, don't have to have the whole affair thing. Just say, like, the whole Davide. affair thing. So you'd be like, look, Davide, like, it's over. And then bang. Drop <laughs> yeah. the mic. Or you could just. <laughs> let, me not say, let me not say that one. <laughs> In trouble. I think I'm just looking at it like a TV point of view and like Ekin Sue's like giving us good TV. Yeah. Like, when I think back to our series, no one, well, maybe you went a bit mad at some point. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Okay, you moved cool. a bit mad. Leah moved a bit mad. Um, But what, no the, one moved mad about, like that. How about if someone mad. said, oh, yeah, but that was good TV though. But it's your feelings yeah, get hurt. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, <laughs> oh, no, I don't... Yeah, it's not very nice. It's yeah. easy to say, yeah, just nice TV when you're outside the villa on your sofa. Yeah, enjoying it. I've had my time, all right? I've now you go for it. I've had my time. I have been part of that. Yeah. And now... But now Ekin Sue's the person and Davide's the one that's getting the brunt of it, which is really sad, but... And it's only week two. we still got... we still got some more to come as well. Do you think he really cares? Davide? Yeah. About like, what? The, when he finds out, do you reckon he'll care? I think he's gonna bug out because you know what though. Even if you don't care about the the girl, it's disrespectful. You've been violated. Yeah, you've been violated. He's gone. To, he's asked Jay about Ekin Sue as well, which is mad. Like, ah, oh, bro. Like, I don't feel like she likes me, and he's like, ah, oh, bro, man. Like, oh, like, savage. That's, bro, That's yeah. He's, he's kissing your girl on the balcony while you're sitting there and in, going into the fridge saying, "Ah, <laughs> oh, where's Ekin <laughs> Sue?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't be laughing. It's so bad. It's so bad. But he's so but he's moody he when he says it as well. He's like, where is she then? Where <laughs> yeah, is she? Yeah. Like that. And he's looking around and she's always just off with someone. Yeah, that's, like, that's bad. But, um, but it's brilliant TV and we love it. We're here for it. We're here for it. it give us something to talk about, to be fair. So. Give us something to talk about. And I feel like then if that weren't happening, someone would moan. A lot of people would moan that it was boring and yeah. nothing was happening. So I feel like you can't really win with Love Island. <laughs> no one's ever happy. You but listen, You need villains. You yeah. need villains in Love That is it. You need. You do. You it. need the different characters. Yeah. You need Everyone the different personalities, yeah. don't you? Everyone pays and a role. Sue is holding, holding the fort down at the moment with uh, making... It's, it's good to see like it's a girl for a change to be fair. I think so too. I don't want to be sexist yeah, and be exactly. like, you know, I'm, I'm glad it's the girl, but she's taken taken a different role on there, isn't she? It's normally it's the boy. Normally it's the boy messing up. Again. But to be fair, to be fair, and this is what I want to say to a lot of viewers what? and people out there. If I did that, the stick I would get would yeah. be incredible. Oh my God, can you imagine? If a boy, if, oh, you would if, me, if a boy did that, the stick they would get is would be incredible you're so right i feel like because she's a girl it's more like yeah but yeah no i, I know what you mean though it's almost like why is it like you know oh go on ekin soon yeah but actually like you say if it was the other way around be like, everyone oh God, would God, be this boy is day. Few, like honestly yeah like, ekin Sue's here by herself i can't believe you're cheating upstairs and kissing a girl oh you're yeah. so right yeah. right hey. like, she needs to she needs to give this up she needs to own up I so wonder how long she'd get away from it. How would she do it? it? She's done it twice now. <laughs> oh, She's no. crawled on the balcony twice. Ah, oh, MI five as well. Why? Do, why are they crawling onto the balcony? What? Why can't they just? Okay. Why can't they just do it in the dressing room? Or da- they were downstairs together, and then why don't they just do it there? Yeah, they, 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 like they're there. in that little bit in in the like by the front door or the dressing room, but they have to go and crawl <laughs> to the balcony. To so s- no one sees them. But then they're still outside. But they're allowed way. to go up there and have a chat. Don't mean that they're kissing, does it? But I True. suppose they know what they don't want people to know they're even having no, but, a chat. No, but Mills, though, if you think about it, cool. If in our series, yeah. if someone went to the balcony, what's happening? Mm. To have a chat. Well, we know what happened when you and Chloe went to the balcony. Yeah, but did anyone yeah. else do that? Sneakily go and have a chat, uh, kiss on the balcony? Well, if you're going to kiss someone, you always go to the balcony. No, no, no I kiss Liam you... all over the gaff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Where was your first kiss? On the swings. Fucking hell. Okay. Just open in front of everyone. <laughs> Why not? Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> But to be fair, you're in different circumstances to where 
Me and Chloe, we were yeah, there, okay, yeah. yeah. You had to hide situation. a little bit, didn't Still, you? Yeah, yeah. To be fair, we did wait for Faye to leave oh, and yeah, like we yeah. said. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, you guys were still in that situation as well. God. Yeah, we actually weren't in a couple yet, I don't think. Life before Love Island, you'll see anyway. You went uni. Yeah. You went to... Ravensbourne. In London. In London. Near... No, at the O2, so it's in North Greenwich. North Greenwich, Essex. Commute? Yeah, so what did I do? I got um, a train from Romford to Stratford and then the Jubilee to... North Greenwich. Oh, you know that one off your head like that because you had to do like I had to do it every, every day. day. Every it was day. like, I just enjoy, wanted... li- enjoy uni? I did enjoy you uni. Did. It was quite like, I did fashion um, at uni, fashion buy-in. And it was, well, the first two years didn't count. So I probably <laughs> dosed for a little bit. <laughs> For a little bit, I feel, like everyone did. I feel like everyone did. Everyone did. Like right. when they told me that it didn't count, I was like, "Wish you hadn't told me that," because I probably would have made more effort in the yeah. second year, but I didn't. And then the third year, like, really knuckled down. Oh, and smashed and it. And I was like, "Yeah," and then smashed it. Yeah. And then you ended in a two-one. I did. Yeah, I didn't get first. Ah, oh, thanks, Tobes. You don't need a first. <laughs> She's a fashion icon. You don't need a first. So how do you, how do you feel that you studied like fashion? Yeah. Was it fashion buying yep. and brand management? Yeah. And now you're the face of ASOS. Well, I think the maddest thing is that I went from. So I did my degree and my like dream brand to work with was ASOS, but that was obviously in buying and yeah. I got my job there as a buyer's assistant. And then going from working there, like as an admin for three yeah. years and I, and I literally like sweating out on this computer, like getting <laughs> loads of like clothes and racking everything up. And like, it was a stressful job. Yeah. Like anyone who is watching this, if you do work in fashion, they will know it's very competitive. It's very fast paced and it is stressful. I cried a lot. You cried a lot. I cried a lot. Oh, like gosh. there would be weeks where I'd be like, I don't want to do this job anymore. But I loved it at the same time. And so I think it like, kept me on my job. toes. That yeah, it was, was my job. dream job. Yeah. Um, well, dream job is a buyer, so I, you have to start at the bottom, and then yeah, I'm working, and then keep planning on working my way. How up. far did you get up? Um, so I went years. in as an entry, and then you know it got promoted to establish, and then promoted to senior. Senior, mm. and then you said, "Guys, be right back. I'm yeah. just having a sum of my life, and yeah. I'll be straight back." I was like, "I'm gonna go <laughs> have a sabbatical because um, I'm travelling this year." Oh, is that what you told them? Yeah. <laughs> And then actually went on Love Island. Oh. So that and then all came happened. back straight to ASOS. Came back. They was like, right, you obviously took a sabbatical. Like, are you going to um, quit or come back? And I they was asked like, you that? Yeah. They was like, you coming back or are you going to quit? And I was like, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll come back. Why not? <laughs> I'll come back to my nine to five. Yeah. No, um, I quit. And then, uh, but I already sort of knew that the brand deal and stuff was in the works. Because yeah. at the time... I was speaking to like, you know, when we had to go for all of those interviews with our management to try yeah. and pick one, I was going through that and a couple of them have already mentioned ASOS have got in touch and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> You're really hot. I'm so, I'm so hot right now. <laughs> this is Jamaica heat. <laughs> oh my it's God. Jamaica it's heat. Jamaica inside this room, isn't it? It is. Was it hot as hot, like 30 degrees this is in Jamaica? As hot, this is how hot Jamaica was. Maybe even sometimes a little bit <gasps> hot. This might be a little bit hot inside. Anyway, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? So you knew the deal was like Oh on yeah, I knew the, the deal sort was on the cards. And you already made your mind up with ASOS, no other brands could compete. Yeah, yeah. Because... Well, like they once I'd signed with the management, they then said, you know, these are the brands that come forward, what do mm. you want to do? And obviously it was a no brainer that I was gonna be like working with ASOS, I wouldn't have done anyone else. Oh, that's... Um yeah, I know. So and then I And you like you know like the brand, like I know, and I know, and I went up, when I went there, I was like, had friends at yeah, ASOS, oh, so like, your, your colleagues. yeah, my colleagues, so I'm walking <laughs> guys, through the office, <laughs> yeah. um, no, it was nice to go in there, and then having, like, friendly faces that I yeah. knew, speak to them, and whatever, but obviously I did meet loads of new people coming into, like, the brand deal, because it's a different side of ASOS that I was, like, working with, because... I don't deal with buying and stuff. But mm. um, yeah, so I mean, I feel very lucky to be honest. Oh, yeah, 
It's an amazing thing to happen, Unreal. isn't it? Obviously, to win Love Island as well. We came second, you came first. <laughs> it was a, <laughs> definitely a close call. Remember when we stand up? I didn't know. I didn't have a clue that it was even... I, we kn- I, like, personally, I knew you and Liam was like, going to win. Really? Yeah, I knew you guys were going to win, but I didn't know who was going to come second, third, fourth. Yeah. I didn't know. I, I was rattled was even in the top four, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I was like, but I knew you guys were going to win. And when I, when I was like, um, can you guys both, all couples come on to like the stage for the winnings thing? I was like, what, this the hell is, what is going here? on? Like, what, How is this happening? Here? I know. It's such a surreal feeling, when not it? Like, Millie and Liam, how do you feel then? <gasps> in shock. <laughs> Like, I, I just felt like this isn't real life. Like, I'm dreaming or something. Like, it that, I don't really, can't remember. Like, I know it's on telly, yeah. but, like, I can't put I myself agree. back into, yeah. like, that feeling because it's so bizarre. You know what's crazy? Do you know what I mean? Like that, yeah, I do. Because that feeling was the whole, like, Love Island experience where you're not, I, I don't, like, feel nervous, but it was, like, yeah. a, a different feeling to, like, a normal, it was... We can't describe the I feeling that you no. get we, we actually can't. Because we spent the whole summer there and like I can remember all that because it was a long yeah. time. And then that day was like so, like I had, I had tonsillitis, I was really I ill. Remember, I remember that, yeah. And I remember like we had to get my hair, my makeup, my nails, all that done. And in between I was like, can, can, like, can you split my stuff like so I have an hour in between so I could keep going back and having a nap. Because I was like, I felt so rough. And then I just remember, like, I think because I was ill, I was so desperate to go home, we seeing my friends stage. and family. We were so desperate to we, go home, weren't we? Yeah, was like, remember the times, like, we used to sit in the villa and was like, I was just, we just couldn't even speak about anything because yeah, like, we'd run out we'd of, everyone's run out of things to say. It's, I think, actually, that's one thing I've never talked about with someone is, is how much we... I. I don't know about you, but how much I wished away the last two weeks of Love Island yeah. because we, we think after that point, well. we was all so ready. I was so ready to leave. Because we got to that stage where we were so comfortable in our couples yeah. and like we feel like we've done Love Island. Like, yeah. We, we didn't need we've, to be there anymore. Like, completely. We could got go. the t-shirt. Like, yeah, going from that point and staying to the end weren't really going to do anything. Yeah. yeah. Nothing was going to change. We what were basically we all walked? just... Huh? What if we all just imagine? I know. <laughs> what? That would be a good TV show, wouldn't it? That'd be crazy. But we were all ready to go home. Yeah, we were all was. buzzing, and it was almost like there were points where you know that last week when we had like the baby challenge, when the parents come in, they were getting us up really early. Oh yeah, sending us to bed really late. Yeah, and that's probably why I got tonsillitis because I was ill, run, run down. down. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I was like, I remember being quite moody that last week, <laughs> and like feeling crapping my myself and then wishing it away almost mm. like, I regret that but so that last day where obviously we're announcing the, the winners and that I, I was I don't feel like I was me I don't feel like oh, I was like living my shell. life like it was like I don't can't explain it like, I don't know what I'm saying like, it was like being on autopilot yeah like yeah, yeah this is it what you got to do for the day yeah. and then like we're gonna announce the winners and then then we're gonna go home and I was yeah. just like right we'll just get this over with announce the winners and then <laughs> and then go and I was like more buzzing about Leaving. Yeah. I was quite happy in that little complex we had before yeah, the final. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. We, we went, we went, as in context, we went to... So, obviously, it has to catch up. The The show has to catch up with the days because we are ahead. Mm-hmm. So, they can edit in time. We was in a complex just before the final, just getting ready and all that. And it was just nice to just be, like, out of the villa... You sleep in a different bed. It's just like yeah, waiting for the final. And do you know what was funny when when we got there? Obviously, so you're in your couples, and then you got Villa Reach, your yeah. own villa, right? But obviously a chaperone, like one of the producers had to stay. Yeah, and then in their the room, idea. what did they have? <laughs> what they have? They had um, sound cancelling headphones. Oh, did they? <laughs> did you not know that? I didn't know that. I thought that was just... <laughs> Listening to you, Shaq. <laughs> I didn't know they had sound cancelling headphones. Yeah. Kiddo. They literally... So I didn't know someone was staying in our villa. Oh, you didn't know? No, I didn't know. <laughs> no, I didn't know at this point that I'm saying. Right, mm. so me and Liam go and put our suitcases there. And... um. And then we walk into the room and basically on the bed was sound counselling headphones and a whole pack of condoms, right? And I'm I'm looking at it going, <laughs> what the f- 
is going on? What's these headphones for? Like, we're going to shag with freaky, headphones. <laughs> some freaky stuff going yeah. on. What is happening? And then um, and then it was, uh, we had, what was her name? I've got her name. I'm so bad. I think her name was Sharon. It was Sharon. She, I think she was welfare. Oh, uh, Shannon. 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 Shanna. Shana, Shana, something like that. Yeah. Um, she she was staying in our in our villa, and then she caught me like looking at it and like rough yeah, like oh, rustling mind. through it. Like, yeah, what is this? And she was like, oh yeah, those headphones are for, for me. And I was like, oh my god, this is so awkward. Like, you literally know, like you're gonna go to yeah. bed, and we're just gonna be yeah. just doing yeah, the villa and stuff. Like, you can first find, time no cameras, yeah, honestly, and no mics. She's like, did you get much sleep? No comment. <laughs> No comment. But, right, I'm changing the subject <laughs> politely. You came to Mallorca. Mm. I say Mallorca, is that the wrong way to say it? Mallorca. I, I no came whatever. to Mallorca. Uh, Mallorca. Came, you came to Mallorca. Yeah. Single, looking for love. You left Mallorca. Boyfriend, 50K. <gasps> yeah. 25K. 25K. Each. Did you ever think about stealing the money? Do you know what? <laughs> I didn't. You no. didn't at all. No, of no, course like I a weren't. little slight. I was like, "What if I just it steal your fifty k? What would happen?" <laughs> <laughs> it did not cross my mind at all. No, no. Like <laughs> it was funny coming out and then seeing all like what everyone was saying. Like everyone, like that would have been the best comeback if like she <laughs> stole it and then Liam was left with nothing. <laughs> and I went to Liam, yeah, with his zero. <laughs> He's like this. <laughs> He's fuming. <laughs> would have been a meme. Would have been a meme. Yeah. Like, you know. I asked him, oh, what would you like? What would you have done? Like, would you be what annoyed you if I would have stolen it? And he was like, yeah, I've been fuming. <laughs> I was like, I fucking wish I did now. <laughs> what do you mean? You should be like, oh, no, yeah, like you can I do feel what like, you want. No, but to be fair, I feel like it would end. The, it... That would have that would have been weird for our relationship for me to do that, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, it would. It would. He just asked me to be his girlfriend, and I've gone, ha ha, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not having <laughs> Yeah, on that night. Yeah, I will be your girlfriend, but I will be 50k yeah. richer. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could not have done that. So no. obviously it didn't. But to be fair, face would be priceless. It would yeah, be funny. It Especially would have Liam been. as well. <laughs> yeah. What would he, he have done be... there, standing there? He just, he would have probably like, I don't know, <laughs> not hit, hugged and kissed me and then been like, fuck. It would have been a joke. <laughs> the crowd would have been silent. Everyone yeah. would be silent. Yeah. That home would be rattled. Maybe we'll see like someone steal... Yeah, it's Eventually, never happened. It's never, because you know what? Everyone's solid at that stage. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Maybe it's not enough money as well, to be fair. 50K. It's a lot of money. And I'm not saying yeah. it's not. Whoa, whoa. Who said it's not? Whoa. <laughs> it is a lot of money. But for for love, you take love. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Over relation. La- <laughs> no, Joe, what was funny when um, Laura, she said to me... Um, we were all going a bit mad at like this point. Everyone was excited or whatever. So I don't know if you would have heard it, but she was like, oh, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to, uh, is are you choosing love or money? And like, so you go, so I'm going to steal or share. And I went, I choose love. <laughs> oh my God. I choose love. Why did I say that? And she went, so you mean love. you want to share? And I was like, yeah. I choose love. <laughs> Love. I, was like, I did hear that. I did, did hear because she, she, yeah, she was like, yeah. Does, it, does that mean you want to share? I remember that. Why? No. I, but it's because the way she worded okay. it, you choose in love or yeah. money. So I'm not going to go. I didn't want to use money. So obviously <laughs> I was like, love. Yeah, love. And it was really awkward. That and I got rinsed for that. That was jokes. That was hilarious. You felt. I, I kept that to myself. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let off for that one. That's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> On Liam though, Liam. Yeah. First date was, you know what? I I remember everything about the villa because I'm just, I know everything. I've seen <laughs> everything. First date, he cooked for you. Yep. You had you had that date where three yeah. people, what was it? Who did a star? Aaron Francis. Aaron Francis starter. Main was Liam. Liam. Dessert was? Hugo. Hugo. Okay. So three boys and then Lucinda had Brad, Aaron. Hugo. Hugo. How was the first date? So you had one with Aaron Starter. How was yeah, that? Yeah. Um, he, uh, do you know what? Aaron's very good looking. He's yeah. got a beautiful face. Um, he was very cool. Really like, we always just say it in the village, we used to call it cool, calm, mm. collected. Like that was, that was his vibe. 
I think maybe it was too that too too cool, too, too cool. Too cool for I'm you. not yeah, yeah I'm not as cool as him do you know what I mean like yeah. he would probably make me feel so uncool whereas <laughs> when I'm with Liam I feel cool I'm not cool <laughs> I'm not calling Liam uncle, but like Liam's just just not normal. Yeah. Whereas Aaron, uh, yeah, didn't have like a connection or a spark or anything. Then obviously, the yeah. main course, the, the main, main course. course. So you knew you know going in there. Liam's my number one. He's got to be my main course. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. Cool. No. Main course. What do you cook you? Um, because chicken and remember. peppers. Chicken and peppers. What was it saying? Did you touch it? It was freezing cold. Freezing cold. Ugh. He did make it spicy though, did and he? he was like, "Oh, I've made it quite spicy," and then I was like this is a good time because yeah. I love spicy like food. Spice. And I was like, oh yeah, this is spicy. And then that's when we was having a flirty chat. Just just still talking about, down, right? I can't remember, he was tried to bit talk all sweet to me and he was like, oh, you like spicy? And he was like, give you a bit of sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> and that got you, that chat line got you. You was like, you know what? I was like, easy Hook, line and sinker. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> this you... is the guy for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to go far with him. <laughs> No, but do you know what it was? I think because with Aaron and Hugo, I was like really like, well, like you're on a date anyway. I feel yeah. like I'm I'm nervous, yeah. so I was thinking of things to say, and like, oh. I'm I'm like, oh, what, what should I say next? So like, weren't flowing, but with Liam, it completely flowed. I didn't mm. have to think about what we said. It was just naturally flirty. Sexual chemistry was there. Like it was just spot was on. Just, yes, and that's why you yeah. won the show. To be fair, like, yeah. You s- oh yeah. Found love on Love Island. Like, <laughs> respect. It's an achievement that one. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, it's a podcast. It's Millie's first podcast as well. So I don't want her to hate me, but we're gonna have to get it when I'm gonna have to ask you. Yeah. Oh, you, I feel like you're like starting to your words ask, there. I don't want to ask because it's like bringing up old memories that like obviously Fine. I knew wasn't a good time. Yeah. Because you spoke to you a lot then, but... We spoke about it a lot, didn't I'll, we, Toby? Yeah. I go Liam and then that that word, Casa more. Yeah. yeah. I didn't come back the best and get out of Casa more, but No. But Liam made all my worries go away <laughs> because he did... Worse. He did what he did. And do you know what is funny? Like sometimes if we look back at it or have a chat, he's like, I just, just so fuming that Toby didn't get as much sick as I did. <laughs> is that what he did? Liam. Liam. <laughs> Liam. Okay, Liam, when you get on this podcast, Liam, when you I get on this podcast, did. we're going to talk about that. <laughs> we're going to talk about that. <laughs> no, but obviously you got with... <laughs> Mary, yeah. I mean, you were with Abby. Poor Abby didn't get with anyone and she was left standing on her right. Like, yeah. we had the same situation. Yeah, but the, the situation was, if it was Chloe, then I think, like, yeah. it would have been yeah, blown up. Yeah, because you and Abby were new. Yeah, like, yeah I think, yeah. like, that's why I got a little, like... Yeah. Oh, but I think if Liam would have not done that, yeah. then I would have been in the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I would have been in the shit. Yeah. But because Liam done that, I was like... <laughs> I'm under, I was under the fire. You minutes. just got sweeps under the carpet a little bit, didn't you? You got away with it. Getting there. <laughs> but yeah, Liam. Um, okay, cool. So we get that. We get to the stage where everyone's coming in. Liam yeah. was the last person. Yeah, we're last person yeah we were last. Yeah, we were the last. Last. Liam comes That's in. That's when I knew it was bad news. Is that when you knew it was bad news? Right. So me and Chloe actually had this conversation, right? Right before right, we knew it was happening. Like we were picking the boys, like who we wanted, like stick or stick or what was it? stick or switch whatever yeah and um we we were having a conversation and then i remember i said me or Chloe, one of us said it and we were like whoever goes last is the bad one and we were like let's just like see how it goes hopefully you know we have to stand up and choose like with, at first or mid or and we said but whoever's last is fucked yeah castle more you slept outside yeah it was brutal. Sleeping outside is brutal. Oh as well. my god! Sleeping outside, so I don't know how you that. It was sweating. Remember we did it like you got. You guys got the worst bed as well. Yeah, I know because the sun as it comes like up in the morning, yeah. it's directly on you. And we got in the shadows. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah, you did have the shadows. But yeah, so you slept outside every night, and then so you knew you knew that you you. Yeah, when it was and when we were all standing up, like um, and it. it Laura was going through each person and I'm thinking, she's still not asked me. And I'm looking at her, waiting her to say to me next, right? And then obviously it gets to the last two people and it's between me and Faye. Yeah. And I thought, oh my God, who is this going to be? And she calls out Faye's name, has got up next. Like- and, I, and I look at Chloe and she, and I literally remember like mouthing like, I can, and she said, to me, and then she mouthed back to me like, you're fine, don't worry. 
And I'm thinking, oh my God, he's obviously going to come back with someone else. That's what I thought. Yeah. He's going to come back with someone. So then I think that's why I got so upset and I was so like taken back by it because he come back on his own. So I'm like, he's holding a, this he's is holding amazing. A necklace. Yeah. Me, your necklace is a big thing. Yeah, it You're was not wearing a big it today, thing. I'm not, it's broken. Oh gosh. Yeah. Someone fixed that. But I've got a tattoo of it now. Are you? Oh, but okay. Sagittarius so, tattooed, yeah. so it's on me at all times. You can't give that now. to Liam anymore, though. So no, no, well, he's <laughs> never going to get that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> he come back with the necklace dangling. I was like, because you made a big thing about the necklace. Yeah, like, before. I had it on we, all the we time. We knew yeah. that was like big the thing. Yeah. So he come back with it dangling. I remember how he's like, we was, we was before, and he's like, ah, oh, how am I going to walk in? And it's like he was practicing the way he's gonna drop the necklace while I'm walking. <laughs> and he's like, no, like drop it down and be like Sagittarius. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so he walked down and you was thinking, I'm like, yeah, oh my god, no, so I've been left last because I love it's, you. yeah, because like, it's really good. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's like the best news ever. Yeah. Like, oh my god, wow. And um, and then like he's. He's like, I'm looking at him. I can tell he feels emotional. Like he's like, you know, got tears in his eyes. I'm like nearly crying. And then so you thought like this is fine. Like, I thought this is amazing. or was he like a little bit like? No, I was oh, like, you had no indication no whatsoever. Clue whatsoever. I was like, this is exactly how I wanted it to pan out. I, yeah. I never in a million years expected that. I don't. Yeah. It was either for me, like if it happened, then he would have brought someone back. So yeah. then for him, so so I thought, oh, like, he's okay, been loyal to yeah. me, and it's been, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Laura calls in. Mm -hmm. the people she's kind of done you dirty there it's, i know because that's never dirty. happened before yeah and then they says has anyone got anything to say oh <laughs> my god as soon as i said that i said no no i said no i want to know what you're sitting there thinking when you know what like when she walked in and like this was all all about to unfold were you like shit liam what was going through your head when okay cool so he came in we knew like he was gonna choose you of course and he was like yeah. It was like, for us boys, it was like, he was always going to go to Millie. Like, yeah. we already had that chat. So, he's done that. And I was thinking, okay, he's going to just like pull her after. Yeah. Us, just like tell him on his own terms, which is the best way. Because yeah. obviously, then it's like, Millie, yeah. I have something to tell you. It's not what you want to hear. I was, you know, it's in his hands. Yeah, can, yeah, yeah. He can phrase it how he wants to phrase it. But it's got to be in front of everyone. But now, Laura's come down and she said, yeah, welcome the girls. I think, oh, girls are coming in. What oh, no. Going in <laughs> See them bop down. And I'm thinking, surely she's not going to say anything. And then well, they did you think that they were just introducing them and then we're going to go? I thought it was going to be like, okay, cool. See you goodbyes. We'll go. Yeah. And they just said, has anyone got something to say? And then even after that, I was like, Sh she wouldn't. She <laughs> not. Like, she wouldn't. No, no. And then she was like. I felt like I had a connection with someone. I said, oh my God. I said, no way. Oh my God. No nah, way. It's the clip and I see your face and you're sitting there. You're like, looking at these like, Liam, like, shit. Here. <laughs> What's happening? I was like, they fucked you. I was like, they fucked you. <laughs> they fucked you. And then, I think, Cascom who? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, don't say. Please, leave it like that. What were you thinking Cass then when she said, I had a connection with someone? Because, I come back with someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. I come back with someone. Um, who else? Tyler come back with someone. Hugo come back with someone. So it... Oh. So it was it was narrowed down to Jake, Teddy, and... Liam. And Teddy had his old drama anyway, and Liam. So what was you thinking there? Do like, you know what? I... I don't, I, I think because it was all happening so quickly and I, I, I was really, like, shocked at what she was saying, but... I think deep down in my head, I knew it was Liam because there's a clip of me and I look at Liam. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember looking at Liam. I actually don't remember like what my actions were in that very moment because it was like, like a really, like a blur. And she, and then I look at Liam, but he looks at me like, Cause he's like what did oh, he do? Did he, he smile like, at me or like, something? He, yeah, he's being all he's weird. Like, he's got yeah. his arm around me he's still. Like, oh. To be fair, what do you do there? Yeah, what are you supposed to do? He's not going to take his arm around off no, me and be like, oh my God, I know it's about to happen. Do you know what I mean? That'd be worse. Or if he's nudging me going, this is me. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this is your name. Like, oh, yeah. This is your name. Oh, wait, what's his name? It's me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> That's, yeah, what was he going to do? He's, he's, he's fucked either way. Like, yeah, either way. You know what? He didn't even give you, He didn't. they didn't even give him the chance to come no. off his own back to tell you, I which know. is so bad. Savage, isn't it? <laughs> because you, because 
I knew he was always going to tell it to you, but like, yeah. no one would know. Like, but like, like in that in that situation. Yeah. But I think the the funniest bit, like when she said Liam, I have, have they didn't put it on the telly, but I remember this bit because it. I that was the first moment she said Liam. I burst out laughing. I don't know whether you remember, but I was sitting there. And she said Liam, and I, I felt I embarrassed. Yeah. So I was like, I like, I was like, did your heart drop in that moment? Like Liam, yeah, like, it was like when Liam, you hit Liam, and then I and then I laughed, and it was like out like a nervous laugh or something. I don't know why I laughed, but I cracked up laughing. And then all I remember is Chloe. I can't remember what anyone else said. Just all I remember is Chloe going, "What the fuck? You're a fucking weirdo." <laughs> Like literally <laughs> shouting abuse at Liam, right? And um, and then and then I realised what's actually happened, yeah. and then I'm annoyed now, and yeah. I'm like, okay, what? And then Laura says, "What did she say?" She, the, she the, said, the bit I want to know what? is the bit when he's like, "So what happened then?" And he's like, "I'll chat to you later." He says, "No, we'll chat to you right now, <laughs> <laughs> in front of everyone." He's like, because he, he knows he's like, "Like we'll chat about it later." And and said, went, no. Nah, come on then, <laughs> in front of everyone, do it. <laughs> I was like, no, I need to know right now. He had to sit here and explain himself in front of everyone. I felt, so, <laughs> I felt embarrassed. I don't know how Liam would feel yeah, or God. how you would feel. Like, I felt like... Oh, there's obviously that meme when he's like this. And he, yeah, he? he was he's laughing. He's doing as a nervous like, laugh He's too. doing that nervous laugh. Yeah, we I know. I mean, like, I hope it is anyway. No, but you know Liam. Liam does yeah. that, like... He's like, oh, oh like he knows oh, he's fucked up. Oh, no, like, if that was me in a situation, like I don't know, like you would feel embarrassed. You would, uh, like I don't know. Everyone's everyone's reaction would be different. Who knows? But I do feel like this was the nervous. He was like, oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who knows? Anyway, but um, oh, gosh. that was uh, just that was a horrible night. Yeah, that was, was my worst night in there. And then like, what happened after that? He went. Ooh. He went to sleep in the... Oh, yeah. No. He slept outside. He slept outside. He slept outside. Oh, my gosh. He slept outside for, for a few... He slept outside for a week. No, he then moved to the dog house. When it was freed up, yeah. When that Eventually. was freed up, because someone was in it. Yeah. I can't remember who. Teddy. No? Yeah, yeah Teddy. Teddy. Oh, yeah, because Faye and Teddy. Teddy. Oh, my uh, gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Teddy was in it, and then... I when remember I was... seeing Liam before, and I was like, oh, like, he's gone He was just out on his own. Liam, man, like, I'm... Like, <laughs> see ya I was no, like ha ha go on sleep yeah, outside with the fucking bugs get bitten because obviously you guys recouple back together so yeah he didn't have a bed because you wouldn't let him in a bed <laughs> yeah oh yeah of course because yeah. I chose so him you had to recoupling go the but I was like I'm recoupling with you but you're still not sleeping in the bed yeah. so you've got to sleep but it was in the dog house I think it was a week yeah it where was, he we I'm, didn't I've sleep I've never in. seen anyone sleep outside their bed for that long yeah and yeah was like, it was but he deserved it <laughs> in my opinion, opinion. No he opinion. deserved it but um yeah so that but was... it was a whole thrown up in the air of is she getting back with him is he not is like what's going on is, yeah is she gonna take him back are they gonna work through it like that was a long time ago while he was outside the bed of course and yeah. he was like trying to like he win to you back it, yeah we used to have chats yeah it never got onto the show no it didn't but it was always like a sly chat like what percentage do you, are you liking like Liam yeah. going? Like, what's the chance of you going back? Every day you Every come up day, to me, yeah. be like, okay, Millie, what's the percentage today of, of your, of the percentage of you potentially getting back with Liam? And I remember it like day one was like 10%. Yeah. I remember you yeah, just it said low, it to me 10%. Or so like, like 5% 10%. or something yeah. like that. And then, and then every day it was like, okay, maybe 15%. And then it was getting <laughs> bigger and bigger. And I like, remember one time you said 45 to 50%. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then, and then you'd be like, like okay it's growing <laughs> this is good <laughs> i remember one time as well i was even like mills we can bump down to 60 yeah. surely <laughs> <laughs> i think i said 50 percent. you went come on like 60 percent. i was like all right okay 60 percent. Yeah, i think that day was a slow day for you i think it was like it was it was last the day before was like 50 percent, and then you said 50 percent again the next time oh, oh yeah sorry. yeah i was like no we, we're losing we're losing <laughs> progress here <laughs> We it's not going up. up, it's sticking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you finally took well, get that. Him, him back, yeah. yeah. And that was like, what day was that? Was that Mabel? Was that Mabel? The um, no, that was, a, that was a speech. 
Yeah, that was the speech, and then that was the night we recoupled, and I yeah. still said, no, you're not sleeping in my bed, so we didn't. Yeah. But then there was, and then when I did let him back in my bed, I was like, well, you can sleep in the bed, but you're not cuddling me, yeah. we're not kissing, nothing. Yeah. Um, and that maybe lasted a day. <laughs> and then after <laughs> that, then, like... well, then it was like we went to bed the next night, and like things were things were going well, and when then we had our first kiss again after yeah. all the drama... But it's it's a journey though, isn't it? It journey is. Love. The thing is, right, what I think, what happened obviously wasn't nice, but I this is just my thoughts on it mm. and obviously why I got back with him. It, we didn't know, we wasn't in, we wasn't boyfriend and girlfriend. True, very true. We also had only known each other three weeks. True. He had come back for me. It's, if he'd come back, yeah. not like on his own, then, then... I definitely would not. I don't think I would have entertained that because he's actually chosen her. Yeah, that's a big but decision. Had, yeah, yeah, but he didn't. You know, he explored something, and and these are my reasons in my head anyway. And when I'm looking at the grand scheme of things, I was like, I'm really like Liam. Like things, people make mistakes. I I do believe in second chances. I wouldn't give him another chance after this. Like no, if that happened, we're a couple now. Though, so we're a couple now. now yeah, like obviously, that, all of that shit should be stamped done. Out. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Yeah. yeah. But like if we wasn't in a relationship by the end of the series and he'd done it again, obviously that I wouldn't have, Um, you know, what is the saying? Once. Uh, oh, trick me once. If, uh, same me on twice. you. Yeah. Trick me. Uh, same me on me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that one. <laughs> that kind of vibe, right? Um, So yeah. And then obviously it's worked out for the better. So yeah, my exactly. decision was a good decision. Have you watched, have you watched it back? What Casa Amor? I actually yeah. have. You have? Yeah. Oh my days. What have you seen? What have you seen? <laughs> You've watched it back. Yeah, on my own. On your own as well? Yeah. <laughs> how, was, how did that go I don't down? think I would have wanted to watch it with Liam because I would like have sat next to him and felt like so annoyed. Yeah, I, can't watch, I can't watch Love Island with Love No. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Uh, so I don't think that's like, yeah. that's toxic that is. Just don't watch it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, we don't need to relive it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I think yeah, exactly. because obviously it's out there for everyone to see mm. and Liam doesn't need to rewatch it again because he's li- he lived that. Yeah. But I'm still, I didn't want to still be in the, not in the know. I watched it quite early on after how leaving. Yeah, p- p- loads of people asked me and I And just how did you feel about night. it like after like seeing it all? Was you just like... Well, there was points... Or? Yeah, there was points where like... Um, because I would still get tagged in, like people were tagging me in the the, pit, the video of them kissing quite a lot after also, I got out of the show. So it that's was social media for you. Though, yeah, exactly. And I was expecting it. And I, and the more I saw it, the less I cared because I was like, you know, I've seen I was, yeah, the I've first seen time I saw it, I was like, okay, that's yeah. Not was nice. you like annoyed? Did you get to that point where you get annoyed with? him like, uh, was you annoyed of him like, yeah when i when yeah, i saw it again yeah like, it brings it back up yeah it? it does yeah it did it bring it brought it back up and that, that was bound to happen he knew that and yeah. i just said right he i said i've what i've seen it um like, like can we have a conversation and we just talked it through i told him how it made me feel whatever yeah. and he just reassured me and he was like look it's in the past now the reason why when we got back together you said the only way we're going to be able to go forward is you have to you have to forget about yeah. or not not forget, not forget no it's like, forgive sorry forgive, wrong yeah. way yeah you have to forgive you know and move on and yeah. that's what I what I said when we got back together so I was like okay yeah I mean it's just obviously hurting right now because I've just seen it firsthand like yeah. the first time I've seen it um but now like it doesn't bother me yeah, if i saw like, the yeah. video i mean it's not like i'm watching like oh like do you know I mean? <laughs> like, i'm still a bit like Ugh, yeah but it doesn't but but get to me yeah. like anyone can tag me in, in a video and i'm like i don't care like yeah. that was a year ago now look at where me and liam exactly. are exactly a year ago did you expect you to be like this far down the line like, no i don't know back oh, in, it's like, hard. the first time you saw him like mm. the first time you seen him now like thinking you live together yeah like Living together is big, you know. Big thing. And he's moved from Wales. For you. Yeah. For me. That's massive. That's like... But I think if he had lived, if he did stay in Wales, that it wouldn't work. It, it, yeah, long distance. I think that would that, eventually yeah. have like fizzled. I, I don't, I've never done a long distance I don't relationship. Believe in, I don't but believe in long distances. Personally. Yeah. I, I don't like... think I, I, that would have would have worked. But yeah, he moved to Essex for, for me. Yeah. 
left his family and his friends. Moved countries. Fit, literally moved countries. countries. That's Do you know massive. what's weird? Right, I had my tarot cards read the other day. What? what? Oh, the, oh. Like you a like tarot. I love all that. Do you? And she okay. was like, um, oh, I see um, a house in one country and a house in another country if you and your partner. And I was like, oh, do you reckon she knows who me and Liam are, though? Like, <laughs> I just thought about it. And I thought, so, yeah, actually, like, she probably knows. Just, if she knows me, then she knows he's from Wales. So she's just yeah, like. Yeah, maybe she just saw you walk in and she was like, yep, I've got this sucker. Yeah, she's really be writing with that one. <laughs> uh, that's irrelevant. Maybe all that stuff is fake. <laughs> <laughs> We've just crushed Millie's, Millie's idea of, what is it, getting your cards read? Yeah, right. So, you know when, yeah, like, I don't know whether well, you... if you yeah. saw, like, death? I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to do cards. The cards they can't, they're not actually allowed to do that. They're not. Oh, no, yeah, they're that's, that. they can't tell you, like, when you're going to die or anything like no, that. No, I mean, like, didn't they're like a death card, like, they can There's an up. omen card. What does that mean? Omen? Yeah, what does that mean? Is an omen a really bad word? Omen. Yeah. Yeah, like a bad omen. Bad good, omen, good yes. Omen. Yeah. Oh, you can get good omens, can, can you? you? Good omens? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you can. can. You well, she omens? said the omen was like strength. Anyway, I got the omen card. But before, so I used to like doing it before. Like, oh, so it's a regular thing. I've only done it once before. <laughs> before and then you get, but people who do it they're like oh no it's a load of crap like she knows you or, or yeah. she just looks at you on facebook and she knows your life yeah i i could never go to one now you can't she go just to might one know now. my just, whole life just type your she name in or she watch you on love island she's like okay yeah liam, liam you and liam he's in you wells two and houses in, yeah. in two different countries i'm never which i could have probably guessed for you if you came to me you I could do my tarot reading i could i could die you come in and i'll get cards out i'll pre-do the cards and say <laughs> wells in england combine <laughs> Nice. <laughs> she did say I had an admirer. You have a you probably do. You probably have a load, Millie. You was on Love Island National TV. You probably have a load of admirers. Oh, I think that's so, how it works. Fake. I think that's how it works. <laughs> you was, have an admirer. Do you know what she said? She said, Oh, there's also a lot of people that write nasty stuff about you. <laughs> No, no, she's actually she actually knew what she was doing. Like she got you. <laughs> she knew. You've been swindled. Oh, swindled. I really came out of that. Like, oh my god, she knew me so well. <laughs> oh, I've been no, joking. No. <laughs> no, Mills, Mills, no. Anyway, sorry, we've got off subject, <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. we? But you know what? That was funny because <laughs> you've been swindled by the card reader. <laughs> she actually just searched you up on Wikipedia. I've just realised on this podcast that I've just been <laughs> completely mucked off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, cool. On that is like the pressures of the media, yeah, on your relationship. Mm, it's hard, isn't it's it? Hard, isn't it? You've yeah. seen, you've experienced it as yeah. well. Is that same? Is that it's same? Like, yeah, recently yeah. we've both had it, haven't we? Chloe and Toby, Millie and Liam, like have they broken up because they haven't up. posted each other. And but the thing that's weird is like they would see us like post in the same like environment yeah exactly but like knowing we're in the same house that, yeah, like, yeah because you haven't posted other counterpart like they're like oh they've broken up what's so we've broken up but we still live together yeah. and do you know do you know what i think it is it's like i don't know about you but mm. when we got out of the villa like I, I i felt the pressure of like needing to post of things of liam all the time same. because they obviously people are invested same. in us yeah. aren't they, they? What's what, like, yeah what are you and liam doing today yeah yeah and everything we were doing at that time was together but now as our careers it's been a year on we yeah. all have got separate things going yeah. on you know you've got your boohoo thing you've got your podcast now chloe you've got jade like we're doing our own, our, our own different jobs and me and Liam might not spend as much time as what we did coming out of the show. So, like, we're not taking photos together. We're not going out and about doing, like, loads of things. Like, on the weekend we do, but I don't want to take photos of him because it's my job. I just want to enjoy my time with him. Exactly. I agree. I completely agree with you. Sometimes, yeah. like, you like, I think I've got to that stage where it's, like, Instagram isn't for my life. Fu- yeah, not right. Instagram isn't for fun anymore. You yeah, Instagram isn't for I fun. It's not Instagram isn't for fun anymore. I don't run it. I I do love yeah. Instagram, and obviously it's yeah. our job. Yeah. But because it is our job, yeah, kind of. But I, yeah, but for for example, what we're saying is when so I'm sh- out with or when we're out with our other person, yeah, we don't want to be taking photos and be like, oh, can we need to stop what we're doing right now? Yeah, we need to take a photo to put on a gram. 
because it feels like work yeah as well yeah and that is the difficulty of like yeah i feel for love island you need to separate work and pleasure yep because i feel like that's when you start losing your, it your, mixes yeah. very it can mix very easily can't that's when it your mind gets messed up as well i feel yeah. like i feel like at a stage in since the last year it had got like between me and chloe like it, work and pleasure was like mixed up yeah and, like weren't enjoying things yeah because we couldn't distinguish both of them i get you completely so i feel like now like understanding finally like yeah work is work fun and pleasure is pleasure yeah and that's down at, and then why i don't we don't take a lot of photos together yeah. i don't feel the need to get my phone out and bloody video him doing something yeah. because like I, I, i'm not trying to prove anything now eyes. like we yeah, one, yeah you don't need to prove anything in your relationship like so people still now like, are you still w- with Liam and it's like uh, we live together like <laughs> if he was broke up he wouldn't be post yeah he still does videos in our kitchen like cooking if all the really time if you really want to find out and know just watch both our stories exactly like, if you really really want to know you would know we're in the watch, same place watch my story watch <clears throat> Chloe's story watch Millie's story watch Liam's story yeah you will find similarities come on guys Definitely. But I think some people get confused because Liam he goes to Wales. Oh, like yeah. That. So yeah. they think that we've both because he's gone so to his, Wales. His family's there, though. Like, what do you think? He's just going to, like, <laughs> stay in Essex for a whole year and never see his family and friends. Like, <laughs> of course he's going to go to Wales. Liam's back in Wales, so they've broken up. Yeah. Like, and then we got it the other day because I went on a girl's holiday and it's like, oh, okay. And he's out on a boy's holiday right now. So it probably, oh, you, you we'll get probably one get one tomorrow. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we've broken up again. And it's like, oh, I didn't realise people in relationship couldn't go on holiday without their other half. Because yeah. a well. lot of people do do that anyway. Yeah, like normal do. people do that. So how do you feel like when you see these things like in like articles online, mm. people like messaging you, how does that like make you feel like... Um, to be honest with you, I do try and, um, not look like I don't. I'm a sucker. I look very, I look. Do I look, you? Yeah, I'm fussy at looking. Sometimes I, like, if to. I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm feel intrigued and I'm like, let yeah. me just see what's about <laughs> at the moment of me. <laughs> not very often. Yeah. But I do try and ignore it and avoid it and just not look at any articles. But the things that annoys me is, I, it's not me that looks at it. It's like my family or my friends that send yeah. it to me. Yeah. And I'm like. Can you not? There was one recently it. for for me. Um, we had a new show, a new show that's coming out. It's called Swipes, and obviously you put your phones in a box, and then um, they go through the box, and f- whoever get unlocks their box last, the other two people get to go on their phone. Long story short, Chloe's gone on my phone, but on Instagram, um, she searched engagement rings and put it as my story. She searched what? Engagement, engagement rings. rings. And I said, which one should I get? And one, two, or three, four. Yeah. Oh, and then, my. And then she deleted it. And then she put another one that said, fuck, that was only for my close friends. So now I, I saw <laughs> that and I thought, what is going on? Yeah. So literally, I got a load of messages and like my family as well was like, what is going on? Are you getting engaged? You didn't want to tell us. Like, I was like oh, oh no, gosh. you've opened up a whole can of worms. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. No, you've got to sit there and explain it because that's what my, I feel like my family believe a lot of things because on there about me. I feel like before Love Island, I believe, I used to believe everything yeah. in articles anyway. Yeah. I see this, I'd be like, oh my God, yeah, okay. Same, but, I would but take it. it. Yeah. You, like, you know it's that's not real. It's not real. That's real. But then you always think like, because when you're not in it, you're like, oh, what? Like, well, why would they just make that up out of the blue? There must yeah. be something real in that. Yeah. Like, because it you you There's understand no, like, why people would believe it. Smoke without fire. Yeah. Way, so yeah. it's like obviously me and Liam weren't posting each other. So yeah, like they're assuming it, but it doesn't mean that it's true. Yeah. But yeah. um, yeah, I it it does piss me off. So obviously, like the positive side of Love Island. ASOS queen, fashion icon. <laughs> How was like life after in the sense of like everything, all the fun stuff, all the good stuff yeah. what is, like, from life? Or... I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? Like I never, I never thought I would be in a position where I like didn't actually have like a full nine to five job. Like yeah. that was very weird for me. I think at the start, like coming out and thinking, 
well, I've got nothing to do. Like, before, <laughs> it's, like a, no, it's a weird schedule, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, like, because you haven't got your management yet. <laughs> like, you haven't got, you haven't signed any deals, like, or like, you're not working with a brand or whatever it is that, you, that people get from it. Mm. And like, it's all in the work. So it was like, we had like three, four weeks, me and Liam, where we just was like, living life having fun like sleeping loads going out drinking we went out party Liam tells me as well by the way that you love to lie in you love to sleep in no you love to sleep in Liam doesn't let me sleep in (laughs) he he knows I love it but he would not physically let me I can't sleep in later than like nine otherwise he would be like that's nuts I sleep in till like 11 yeah exactly Liam would (laughs) not have that he I'm would he would be like, no, this that's that's awful. That is, you need to get up, get motivated, to do something fair, your day. Though, that's that's good though. He's very he's very productive and he's yeah, like sick. really good. I wish I was like that. I know. I mean, I, if I could sleep in until eleven, I would. But he's obviously in, in my bed. Yeah, so um, I'm like... making the most of it tomorrow. <laughs> I've got your Saturday tomorrow. I'm having a nice lay in me. Leave it until like 4 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Just don't even wake up. Just go through to the through till he comes back. <laughs> Sometimes we'll get up. Um, he will like make me breakfast. I never used to eat breakfast, but Liam's like, I demand I should eat breakfast and like have a glass of water. Apparently breakfast that. is the most important meal. Yeah, day, so exactly. Like, yeah. And a glass of water as well. Glass of water. Healthy living. He's like, he's giving he's me the lifestyle. He's really good. Like he's like. He's like getting me like to be a, a better person. <laughs> oh, gosh. To... <laughs> no, seriously. I'm gonna have to stay a week around the Millie Liam oh, the households. Because yeah. I don't want to do anything wrong and like and, and, and annoy him because I don't want him to be like, oh my god, you're a slob. Like he calls me lazy all the time because I will sleep so much. <laughs> um but we'll wake up, he'll make me breakfast, but then he might like go to the gym and then when he goes to the gym, I go back to bed. Oh, just a sneaky like <laughs> sneaky. He comes back in. I wasn't asleep and I was just making a bed. Yeah, <laughs> I've just been like, you know, working on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. I know that one. No, so yeah, we, we, I love life. Like, life's good. Yeah. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying work and I just, I'm, just, I'm real, really. Life, life is brilliant. Life is Life great. is good. Life is good. Life nice. Is good. With obviously you dominating it when you come out of Love Island. Like, mm-hmm with the fashion you're always gonna get comparisons yeah and you got compared to the one and only <laughs> molly may i did do you get that a lot oh all the time all the time mm. how do you feel about getting compared to like molly may um well personally i think that it's a compliment yeah like she smashed it. Like she is a very success- successful in her career. Yeah, she is. Like, She's like she got the most followers from anyone that's left Love Island. Yeah, isn't she? Yeah, she's over six million or something like that. Yeah, she's got Filter, which is her own brand, which is successful. Mm-hmm. She got any other brands? No, she just brought out a book. Creative director of PLT. She's creative director of PLT. Like, like that creative director. That's massive. So what would you, like, what would your pinnacle be? Like, obviously, like, what is your, I want to be that? Well, I... I don't know fashion. No, yeah. Well, I think there's something that I'm working on at the moment that I can't actually say. Boo! Boo! (laughs) But, um, well, it's kind of me saying it, really. But I won't tell you what it is. But I'm going to be, I'm going to have my own brand... We don't know. No one knows what it is yet. Can be anything, yeah. and I'm, it's not not necessarily fashion. Sandals. Yeah, Ugh. you've got it. You hit the nail on the head. I knew it. <laughs> I just knew it. But like, obviously, Molly's got filtered by Molly May. Like, she's the CEO of her own brand. I want to yeah. be the CEO of my own brand. Of you like, do. I, that's one thing, and that's where my degree comes into play because I've got brand management. I learned how to start a brand up from scratch and how to make it fly. You know what's fake? Not really. What? You know what's actually, this this is mad fake. This is mad fake because she's like planned her life out like how you would normally like plan a video Sims. Yeah. You did Sims from start or (laughs) Bit Life. I know some of you do Bit Life. You would like do these things to get like complete life. I feel like Millie's complete in life. She did the the degree. She got the degree that she needs for the next step of. Yeah. 
that's my my as, degree. I don't use my degree for for anything. I know, and I never thought I would need my, that degree. Like, as in, I did the buying side. So you had the buying and then the brand management. Mm. And obviously, I knew I was going to be doing the buying because that's what my like that was what my goal was. Like, my goal, my my goal was never to be on Love Island. Like that wasn't yeah. a say, anything I had planned. That just happened. Yeah. But my it's goal, for everyone, yeah, it? exactly. Like, I mean, some people might be like, you know, people want to be on TV. I, I never wanted to, to be on TV. I planned it to be fair. You didn't. I did. When I was 16, I said, I'm going to go on this Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so when I'm 16, I'm going to be on Love Island. <laughs> um, no, exactly. But some people might want to be in the TV world. I don't know I ever want to do TV really. Oh, you, again? No. You don't, oh, it's just don't that, give me a fancy. Yeah, I, I went like Love Island come up, the experience came up and I was like, I'm not turning this down. Like yeah. I'm, I'm going to do it if, if I get it. Yeah. And I got it. So I did it, but I didn't never want it to be on telly. It right. just happened. Yeah. So now I don't want to be, I don't want to be on telly so again. Now, like, so did that come to the point that like opportunities come? You're like, oh. yeah, it's come up and, and I like, just, telly, I nah. don't know. And that's what a lot of my, man, the management come like when, when I have my interviews, they all were like, we think you'd be good on this show and like, we can get you on this. Like, and no, I just I like, like I actually don't want to do that. That's I want to focus on fashion. So anyway, did the fashion buy in, but the brand management was a, ha- a whole half of it. Mm. I never thought I'd have my own brand, but now I'm like, that's hundred percent what I want to do. Yeah. Ugh, go for it. So, but little does Millie know, I'm gonna drag her onto Towie. So. <laughs> about that in the middle <laughs> it was like oh my god me and Toby could definitely go on Towie after this <laughs> I'm gonna drag her on for one episode special <laughs> are you trying to tell me you're going on Towie no I'm not I, <laughs> I'm only going if you're going so yeah <laughs> alright well you definitely try it <laughs> no I'm joking that would be hilarious but yeah so the Molly May comparisons is yes. just like so no, yeah, like it's just it's, it's just like a compliment. It's a compliment. Some people try to use it to like as a like, ah, oh, you're know, money, mate. You're like, yeah, but it's it's, it's not weird, like weird. And what? also, like they'll say, some people will like be like, how how do you feel that you'll never be as successful as Molly May? Like you don't know that. I don't You've know. only come you out for a year. Yeah, like how long has she been out? She's been out three, three years. years. Give me three years, and then yeah, you can maybe three. say that. But do you know what I mean? I, I, Even I, then, like. You've still done a lot, like yeah. And what you I don't sa- need to like, you don't need to like compete with anyone because you're no. everyone's on their own little. Everyone's on their yeah, own exactly. level. Yeah. Well, like we move at our own paces. Exactly. Like, like everyone has their a, a different like path in life. But to be fair, you say you say this. You're like, you you get that comparison of like, oh, you're you're you just want to be like Molly May. Yeah. I'm 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 just off my own back. I'm, I feel like. Someone's probably going to come out the villa in this year or yeah, next year and they'll be like, the you'll same... never be like Millie. Oh, do you think? Yeah. No. Yeah. Why are you saying no like that? I think it will be continued. Everyone everyone will com- want to be compared to Molly. Like everyone, yeah, because say, she's at the top yes, tier yeah. of like the girls that have come out of Love Island. They're not going to compare it to me. Because I'm not up there yet. You are up yeah. there. You are, oh yeah. I, I will like be. the way you said yeah. <laughs> Oh, Look, really? Millie's being humble. She's up there. She just doesn't know it yet. She's a humble person. She's always been humble. <laughs> no. Okay. No. No. She's humble. She's humble. But I just want to say as well, like if, people who say about the success side of things, um, I touched on it a little bit anyway, like on my YouTube, but... Mm-hmm. Six, plug the YouTube. Plug underneath. the YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, the success is like, can be... Success is... What you th- what you think success is is different to what I might oh, think. Yeah, success- yeah. I can't say success. success. I'm saying it's too much now. Success, like everyone's idea of success, is different. So yeah. you know, I feel like I'm successful anyway because I'm happy in my life and like where I am at the moment, I'm content. Like everything's good, and I think that means that's to me that means I'm successful. Yeah. So some people do like nine to fives or do whatever they want to do, and they just like. They're, they're like successful. happy. They're like, I'm successful. Like, hundred percent. Being happy is success. Success, yeah. In my eyes, I you agree. don't need a Lamborghini to be successful. No, or a house to be successful. Just mm. if you think you're successful, yeah. Hats off to you. Exactly. So you can't compare our. our you can you can compare success in a way of like what what we've achieved, but yeah. doesn't mean that well I'm not successful just because. I've not yeah. achieved as much. It's only your opinion that matters anyway. Really, exactly. Really, yeah. And I'll work, I'll work my way up there. Why not? I'll continue to work hard every day. Preach. And is that any other advice for 
Uh, people out there. <laughs> but any more advice? What if f- for about work? You, you're, no, you're you're preaching. You're preaching. I feel like advice. I'm preaching. You're yeah. preaching advice. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Um, you're like, yeah, success is to you. Yeah. <laughs> you be successful. <laughs> but it's true though, isn't it? Someone told me this the other day. You know. Well. Okay. On success, did someone told me this the other day? Millie Grace Court is the only Love Islander to ever have a TV advert. No, that's a lie. Is that a lie? Yeah. How's that a lie? Um, Maura did a collection with Ego that was on telly. Yeah, TV. That was on telly. So you lied to me then. Lucinda did an, a collection with I Saw It First that was on telly. So you lied to me then. This is just a lie. No, I'll tell you what is a good fact though. Oh, okay. Me and Liam are the first bombshells to Winners. win Love Island. Yeah, everyone else has won someone in the couple has been from an OG. Whereas me and Liam are the first oh. couple where we're both bombshells. So you bombshelled the bombshells. We bombshelled you were it the completely. King of bombshells. bombshells. <laughs> Can't get better than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the king of green of bombshells. No, I'm joking. But seriously, though, yeah. oh, that's, that's a, a good that's fact. Crazy. That is a good fact. That is mm-hmm. a good fact. Maybe that just means that all the OGs in my series are just not up to scratch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you still came second. <laughs> second the worst. Second the, second the best. <laughs> so, Mills, I've got a new thing that I'm doing. Yep. I want to fill this whole wall up with guests and the photos and their signatures. Cute. So can I take a photo of you of on course. my little Polaroid camera? Yeah. Smile, smile, smile. Oh my God, I'm your first one. Yeah, I've got, I didn't, this arrived today and I couldn't do Chloe, so. Oh, yeah, maybe you have to do one of Chloe. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe yeah, lives, you can lives still add it. You two will both be up there. Oh. And then I'm going to fill it up with all the, the guests. I feel honoured. Yeah. I feel honoured being your first podcast. Thank you guys for watching the podcast. Millie, you've been great. Aww. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on. No, thanks for having me. First podcast, Our how first did it go? Podcast. Great. I great. loved it. You loved it. Wait until I watch back the footage. <laughs> <laughs> so I got anything I don't like. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> really loves it. Maybe we'll see her again. Maybe. If I'll have her on. If I'll have her on. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so make sure you support the entire podcast on Apple Spotify and also here on YouTube. Peace guys, till next time. Episode 3. <laughs>